is Chris. Um, I've been homeless for four years. Um, let's see. Uh, How did you become homeless? Um, well, it's a long story, but it boils down to losing my identification and my phone in the same month. And uh, then that I, I lost my job, my contacts and everything and wasn't able to pay my bills and got kicked out of my apartment. And then I've never been able to get my ID back since. Are you from Vancouver originally? No, Victoria. Uh, so what do you sleep? Uh, this corner here or just up the street up the next corner. This, it's not going to change. I don't believe it will. How old are you? Um, 38. You think you'll be here for? Until I die, yeah. yeah. And I am, like I have, uh, like I'm dying, I have like terminal sickness. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, what do you have family? Yeah. They kind of do, but not really. They've all got their own problems. I can't help out. No. no. How many people stop a day to talk to you? Mm. Two or three. Yeah, two or three. And are they worried about you? Um, as much as they can be. Like, as much as they can be. People can only do so much. So. so why did you pick this spot? Uh, there, this spot in particular, there's a lot of traffic and there wasn't other panhandlers here when I started sitting here. Yeah. So there's just a lot of traffic, a lot of people, and there's only this one guy across the street. That, yeah, so there's... Yeah. Plus it's also... Um, it's out of the way of all the people who are going to different places in town to steal. This is out of their pathway so my stuff doesn't get stolen on the way. <laughs> That's a big one. Like Even just one street up from here, my stuff gets stolen every day, sometimes three or four times a day. But here it doesn't because they, they cut. They, yeah, they work for whatever reason. So tell me about when it's raining or snowing, what do you do? Yeah, there's a Tim Hortons just up here and I go and sleep in front of the Tim Hortons. Um, there's very little places uh, in anywhere that you can go and um, stay sheltered. It's not, like even just this building right here, I can't go underneath their awnings because it's private property. Yeah, they, yeah. but the street is public. Yeah, the street is public, so I'm allowed to be here. What did you do for work before you became homeless? Uh, I was a carpenter. Building homes? Uh, flooring installation. Would you ever go back to that? Um, yeah, but it's not going to happen. Um, I don't have my ID and I don't have my banking card. I can't get my ID without having an address. And so I can't get a job. I can get the job, but I can't get paid. Right. So there's no way for me to get anything. It's just a, it's a, I used to think it was going to be happen. I used to I spent the first few years trying really hard to get it to happen and stuff, but then I just. I just, got, I just realized that it was just. I was just setting myself up for faith. Like, I was getting angry, I was getting really mad, I started getting violent, I started hurting people. I started, I tried to kill a couple people and stuff, and I just did a lot of bad stuff, and I just had to give up, I just had to say no, and just be happy, just sit, I just, I'm happy. So most of the times, like, if I got a bit of food, and then I'm okay. What, if you can tell people out there in the world one thing that's important to you, whatever you want to say, what would it be? Um, 
that it's not okay to sacrifice your own happiness for other people, even your children, your family, your mother, your parents. It's not okay to do. Hey, it's a it's a really it's a hard thing maybe for some people to get, but it's it's, it's I think it's really it's like if if it, you got to do what's gonna make you happy, because if you're doing it for other people, if you're doing what you're doing for other people, then the, it's gonna show that you're not happy and then it's gonna spill out to everybody around you and then you're not, even if you don't want it to happen, and then it just spreads and it's, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.